In this video, we will be investigating the topic and application of cutoff frequencies. A cutoff frequency is a boundary within a system at some frequency value at which the response begins to attenuate. Here we have a visual example of the effect of cutoff frequency in four different filter designs. The cutoff frequency in each graph is notated by the vertical dotted black lines. For a low pass filter, the frequencies before the cutoff frequency are passed and the values above the cutoff frequency are dampened. For a high pass filter, the frequencies less than the cutoff frequency point are dampened and the signal responses above this point are passed through. The band pass filter has two corner frequency values where the signal between the frequency points are passed through in what is called the pass band and the signals below the lower corner frequency and above the upper corner frequency are attenuated in what is called the stop bands. The notch filter also has two corner frequencies where the signal between these frequency values are dampened within the stop band and the signals below the lower corner frequency and above the upper corner frequency are passed through within the pass bands. It is important to understand the concept of cutoff frequencies, especially for the interest of circuit and more specifically, filter design. With a corresponding comprehension of transfer functions, one can manipulate circuit components to design a desired system. An example of a biomedical application of cutoff frequencies is in the design and programming of cardiac pacemakers. Many pacemakers include low pass and band pass filters to more clearly read the cardiac signal inputs and remove unnecessary signals from outside noise, such as surrounding muscle movements and even signals found outside of the body. This allows for effective treatment of various cardiac conditions with the implanted pacemaker and can be applied specifically to the needs of a patient with strategic selection of a cutoff frequency. Being able to effectively design circuits relies on the knowledge of the relationship between transfer functions and cutoff frequencies. The cutoff frequency is calculated for a negative three decibel magnitude of the transfer function. This calculates the frequency at which the power of the signal is reduced to 50% the maximum power. Negative 3 decibels is equal to 10 to the negative 3 divided by 20, or 1 over the square root of 2. So to find the cutoff frequency, we find the value omega for which the transfer function magnitude is equal to 1 over the square root of 2. Here we have an example problem where the transfer function h of s is equal to 100 over s plus 30. First, we have to convert to the frequency domain, so we replace every s with j omega. h of omega is equal to 100 over j omega plus 30. To get the magnitude of the transfer function, we take the square root of the numerator's real component squared plus the numerator's imaginary component squared, all over the square root of the denominator's real component squared plus the imaginary component squared. This simplifies to 100 over the square root of omega squared plus 30 squared. So to find the cutoff frequency, we have 100 over the square root of omega squared plus 30 squared set equal to 1 over square root of 2. By cross multiplying, we get 100 square root of 2 is equal to the square root of omega squared plus 30 squared. This simplifies to 20,000 is equal to omega squared plus 30 squared. Omega squared is then equal to 19,100, and omega is equal to approximately 138.2 radians per second. That's the cutoff frequency for the transfer function where h of s is equal to 100 
over s plus 30. To verify that we've calculated this correctly, we can plot this transfer function in MATLAB. This is a screenshot of the code used to plot in MATLAB, and you see that the transfer function is equal to 100 over s plus 30. When we plot the Bode plot, we get this result. Then we want to approximate what the frequency is when the magnitude is approximately negative 3 decibels. So, by clicking on the graph and dragging to the best value we can find, we found that the frequency at negative 2.96 decibels is 137 radians per second, which is really close to what we calculated of 138.2 radians per second. So that's how you calculate the cutoff frequency given a transfer function.